This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, I'm Chris Ledeen. Here's look at your top headlines on this Friday, July 26. Funeral services are happening today for fallen Melvindale police officer Mohammed Saeed. They'll take place at 11 this morning at the Dearborn Mosque American Muslim Society on Verner Highway. And today, Westbourne car wash locations on Michigan Avenue in Dearborn and on Van Bourne Road in Dearborn Heights will donate half of all proceeds to his family. The man accused of killing officer Saeed, Michael Lopez, faces 12 charges, including homicide, murder of a peace officer. He was arraigned yesterday in Allen Park. The judge visibly emotional. Lopez was remanded back to jail. The judge says another district court will be assigned the case to avoid any conflict of interest. Lopez is due back in court on August 12th. The defense for the man accused of killing prominent Jewish leader Samantha Wohl wants his case dismissed. Last week, Michael Jackson Bolanos was found not guilty of first degree murder, but the jury was deadlocked on first degree felony murder and home invasion. Jackson Bolanos was found guilty of lying to the police. He will be back in court on August 9th. A new national poll has Vice President Kamala Harris narrowing what had been a lead by former President Donald Trump, with Trump now ahead by just one point among likely voters. CBS News has learned former President Barack Obama is planning on backing Harris soon. As the 2024 race heats up, Harris and Trump are now sparring over when the two could face off on the debate stage. Yesterday, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu met with both Harris and President Joe Biden separately, both urging the Prime Minister to get a ceasefire deal done. Netanyahu will be in Florida later today, meeting with Trump. Video game performers went on strike at midnight after contract talks broke down over artificial intelligence protections. The work stoppage impacts more than 2,500 voice and motion capture actors represented by SAG-AFTRA. The union says there are concerns that AI could be used to replicate actors' performances with no consent or compensation. Gaming companies say they are disappointed but prepared to resume negotiations. Let's get that Friday next weather forecast with Kylie Miller. Good morning, Kylie. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Today we're seeing plenty of sunshine. Same thing goes for the weekend, but this weekend it is going to be hazy. There's wildfires that are burning in Canada, and some of that wildfire smoke could actually reach us here across a Great Lakes state. So it could be a little bit more hazy for Saturday and Sunday, but as we head into next week, Temperatures are getting much hotter. We are back into the middle and upper 80s for most days, and we're going to be tracking rain showers and storms. Dry conditions, though, for today. This morning, temperatures are starting off in the 60s. Low humidity for today, so it's rather comfortable. By lunchtime, temperatures will be in the mid 70s, reaching highs today in the 80s. I'm forecasting a high of 81 today for the city. Lots of sunshine with the easterly wind, sustained at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then for tonight, 60 degrees, you're over night low under a mostly clear sky condition. I think some of our suburbs could actually drop into the 50s for tonight. So it's going to be cool and comfortable. Then for tomorrow, the start of the weekend, 84 lots of sunshine expected. But as we break down your seven day outlook by Sunday, we're going to see a slight increase of cloud cover, calling it a partly cloudy sky condition. It's going to be hot though with temperatures in the upper 80s. Then at night, scattered rain showers and storms are going to be moving in. We're going to hold on to a chance of rain shower activity and stormy weather Monday and Tuesday next week. Wednesday, a few isolated rain showers and then more storms will be possible for Thursday. Thanks, Kylie. That's a look at your headlines. We'll be back later covering stories that matter to you on air and streaming on the CBS News app and Pluto TV.